Hey guys, welcome to this introduction video. In this video, I'm going to share what this course is about and whether this is for you. In this course, we will be building an events app that sends transactional emails without building a server. We will learn how to integrate our iOS app with SendGrid, which is a renowned platform used to send transactional and marketing emails. This course is designed for developers who have at least one year experience, and we will build this app from scratch using the MVC architecture with Swift 5 and the latest Xcode 11. So, what is a transactional email? A transactional email is an automated and real-time communication to your users. These are emails that are sent usually right after a specific action is performed on your app. For example, a user signing up, completing a purchase, or even requesting for tickets for an event. These emails contain valuable information critical to your user's experience, and some examples will include ticket confirmations, receipts, account statements, promotional materials, etc. Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. As you can see on my screen right now, I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max Simulator, and this is the app that we'll be building together in this course. If you look at the background over here, I have my Gmail account open. So this is a test email that I've registered to show you how we can integrate our iOS app with SendGrid to send email to this email address. Alright, so if you look at the app over here, this is pretty simple. We have the events tab as well as the feedback tab over here. So I'm going to click on the feedback tab to show you the first feature. So this is a feedback form. So let's imagine that you know you build an app and you want to allow your user to send you feedback, okay? So let's assume that uh, the user clicks on this category text view and comes to maybe feature request. And in the comments, the user types in, uh, can we have a chat function? Something like that. All right, so maybe a function like that. Okay, so let's click on the submit button. And when that happens, what the app does is to send an API call to SendGrid, which will trigger an email to this email address over here. Okay, so let's click on the submit button. So upon a successful callback, we will show this very nice toast message at the bottom over here. And if you look at the background, we receive an email. Okay, so it says feedback received from iOS events app. So let's click on this. And we see this very simple template over here. It says username. So this is something that I've hard coded. We have the category which says feature request as well as a command that says, can we have a chat function? All right, so let's go back to our feedback form and let's select something else, maybe ticket inquiry. And for the comments, maybe I'll just type in blah, blah, blah. All right, let's click on the submit button again. And I believe we should receive an email shortly. All right, so the email just came in. So let me just click on the inbox button again. And then now it says uh, ticket inquiry, blah, blah, blah. All right, so as you can see, this is pretty flexible. Now I wanna show you the second feature that we'll be building together, uh, which is in this events tab over here. So when we see this page, this page kind of simulates like an events app where it lists a bunch of events over here and it allows the user to request for tickets uh, for this event. So let's assume that the user decides that he wants to visit the acoustic concert tonight, 6 p.m. at the Star Theater. So when the user clicks on this join button, we will show a very nice uh, model view over here. Okay, of course, we have all this information over here and this page allows the user to select the number of tickets that's required. Okay, so what happens is that these tickets will be sent to his email address. So when we click on this request button, we will trigger an email to, again, this test email over here. So as you can see over here, we just received a new email. It says, ticket confirmation for acoustic concert. Hey, Thomas Smith, here are your tickets tonight, 6 p.m. Star Theatre. Okay, so let's click on this. And what's different about this is that we are actually showing this email using an email template. So what this means is that you can actually customize the layout. Uh, over here, I have the uh, banner image over here, which is actually being passed from the app to the email itself, as well as all this text over here, acoustic concert, tonight 6 p.m. star theater, we are able to print them out on the email as well. Tickets for four packs. So as you can see over here, these are some texts that uh, you can also use to customize in your email template. And also for this course, I've thrown in a bonus where I'll show you how you can also add in a QR code as well. So if you are to take your phone right now and scan this QR code, you will see this uh, user's email. All right, guys, this is the end of my video demonstration. Uh, I hope that you find this useful and I look forward to seeing you in this course.